Hi guys, welcome to our channel. What are we gonna draw and paint today? A kitty cat sleeping. Yay, a kitty cat. <laughs> Let's get started. So we didn't do a practice run for this one. We'll have to see how it goes, huh? Yeah, well I do, I, pr I do cats a lot. And kitty cats are so cute. They're so cute. All right, we each have a piece of six by eight inch water media or it's mixed media paper by Strathmore. And I've taped it down just so it won't slide around too much. And then we're also gonna use our set of Koi watercolors today. And we each have a water jar, some paper towel, Sharpies, pencils, and paint brushes. You ready to start? Yes. Okay, grab your pencil. The first step is to draw the kitty cat. And so we're gonna, like Ainsley said, paint a sleeping cat. Let's start with the head. We're gonna put the head over on the left side and it's just gonna be an oval, slightly tilted, like you're tilting your head when you sleep, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just start with our oval. And I'm gonna, I wanna leave some room for some Z's for snore. For Z's, oh yeah. I'm never drawn a sleeping kitty cat. I've just drawn a, 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 a live kitty, so that's... Oh, well funny. they're still alive when they're sleeping. When I just <laughs> draw a cat that's awake with its head up. Oh. Okay, the next step is to add the ears. And so fairly wide apart, we want the ears to be little soft triangles. Like that. Yeah, so cute. And you can draw a smaller triangle inside of the ear. Some of the head. Is it a little too wide, maybe? Yeah, kind of. Okay, that's probably a good idea. And maybe the other ear should go right here because it's sideways, it's a sleeping cat. Okay, we've got our heads on. Now we're just going to add the body. So the body is just a curved shape like this. Yeah, so. It comes around. Can you just Bring it around and not quite all the way to the bottom because we're going to draw feet over here. So if you look at what I just drew, make a curved shape, almost a circle or oval in kind the shape of, of the body. Like, kind of looks like it. That's kind, great. Kind of looks like a kitty cat falling. <laughs> falling? I hope not. Okay. Now we're going to make our little kitty extra special. His paw is going to be dangling off the edge of the chair he's sleeping on. Does that sound good? <laughs> So we're going to just draw a little paw hanging off like that. You want to try it? It's kind of an upside or a sideways C, very long skinny C shape. And then we'll bring it up and around and that's the front leg. Do you see what I just did? Almost a backward C or a semicircle pointing towards the head. Good job. Next let's do the hind leg. And for the hind leg, we're just going to take another C shape and make it kind and of And that's the like back it. foot and we'll just connect it to the bottom. Okay. Now inside of each foot, let's add three little toes. We're just going to do little curved shapes. And I'm actually doing two lines, but that creates three toes, doesn't it? So one, two. Now, on the, for the other front leg, we're going to have the kitty's head resting on this little front foot. Aww. So, all you have to do is just draw a little curved line with more little toes on it. Want to try it? My toes. The next detail is to add the tail. And so, the tail is just a skinny little swooping, almost like a snake shape. And a kitty cat. Let's draw the face. So let's start by doing closed eyes. To make eyes look closed, instead of doing a shape like this, we draw them upside down like this. And so the eye is going to look closed if we draw them like upside down half circles. If you draw it like in a shape 
of Try the it. top of a circle, you would make it look like the kitty's happy and exciting. Mm -hmm. So we're going to draw them like the bottom of the circle, right? Yep. And because your face is going sideways, make sure that the that they're going sideways just under the ears. Yep. Nice. Now you know what our kitty cats are missing. <laughs> Noses. Yes. So for the nose, let's draw a little triangle shape. It's going to be an upside down triangle. So look, watch me. Okay. Watch me. The point is going to go down like that. Now from the point of the triangle, we're just going to add more upside down half circles. Okay. So the bottom of a circle on this side and the bottom of a circle easy, on this side. Easy. Yeah. Easy shapes, right? I'm going to add some nostrils. Now another fun little detail you can add is whiskers and they come out from next to the nose. So let's add a couple little skinny whiskers. And then do you want your kitty cat to have stripes? Yes. Okay, so let's just add a few stripes. Maybe we'll do three little stripes on the top of the head like this. And they're just long skinny triangles pointing towards the face. And then you can add a couple little stripes to the side of the face the same way. And then you can also add some stripes onto the back of your kitty. Try to wrap your stripes like they're following around the shape of the cat's body. Most so, of the stripe in this one is coming. Yeah, so look at how the stripes can curve around as if they're curving around the leg. And the same with the tail. If you add stripes to the tail, you can curve the stripes so it makes it really look like the tail is round. Now the last little thing is, I think we want our cat to look like he's actually sleeping on something soft. What do you think? Yeah, it kind of looks like he's, like he's, like he's falling down from a wall right now <laughs> as he sleeps. <laughs> well, she does look content though, huh? So let's just draw a little pillow under her and it can just look soft and, and just like a it doesn't have to be any particular shape, just something soft like a blanket or a pillow. And then since this cat is sleeping on a pillow inside, if we want to make it really look like it's in an indoor setting, we can draw a window behind our kitty. To do that, we just draw a straight line going up and then a couple more straight lines towards the edge of our paper. Most of the window is hidden behind my kitty. And then you just draw, draw a cross section line that intersects that middle line and it looks like window panes. I kind of, this is Oh, that's my, a little window, I like it. It's, it's, that's not one. No, most of the window is hidden behind the kitty. Yeah, it just looks a little further away. You ready to Sharpie? Yeah. Okay, grab your Sharpie. And this is our opportunity to outline our cat to make sure we're happy with our lines. And so let's begin. So you can do what Ansley's doing and you can color in the stripes with Sharpie and you can also color it in with paint if you want. Mm -hmm. Or you can use paint, which I think is what I'm going to do. Totally up to you. 
Are we ready to paint? Okay. What color do you want your kitty cat to be? I'm mixing orange. up some um, light yellow. You're gonna do orange. And and my pillow is gonna be. Of course, really want to do rainbow. Oh, rainbow pillow. Nice. Okay. Do you know how to make orange? Yes. You gotta use yellow and red to mix up. You do. Up it. All right. So we're gonna mix up yellow. We've got a couple of yellows here. And red. Kind of mixing. Totally up to you. And I'm going to start with this kind of golden yellow and paint the kitty that color. And remember, if you have too much water, just to dab it on your paper towel. No purple, but you can make it. Do you know how to make purple? You gotta use red and blue to make purple. Correct, good job. I like your cat's rainbow pillow. Oh, it's so cozy. <laughs> you now your kitty still looks like he's floating. Do you wanna paint another pillow underneath him maybe? So he looks like he's laying on something. When you want it to look like it's touching something, you bring the paint right up to where the feet are. On the top of it? I'm gonna use and outside I'm just gonna paint some light blue to make it look like it's a sunny day, blue sky. Any color you want. Good, let's bring them close together. There we go, those look super cute. Good job. What do you think? Good. 